Crossing through the world of special effects starting with Diga, Lu Xian awakens his full-level Critical Strike system. Critical Strike Intermediary Benefit, Reward Monster Fusion Permission. Fusion plus Tanjia. Critical Hit Lina, Reward Limiter Lifted. Can be upgraded infinitely and evolve infinitely. Critical Hit Kalmyra, Reward 30 million years of cultivation, enter adulthood from childhood. Critical Hit C Pagetan to obtain legendary skills. 1 Megawatt Fireball, Light Wave Barrier, and Instant Movement. Critical Hit the Void Monster Gliza to obtain Invincible Body Method. Void Walk. Critical Strike Angel Zog, Special Blessing. God of Faith. Critical Strike. Daegu said, Senior Lu Xian is the true king. In front of him, I am not even as good as a flashlight. Lina. I hate drinking milk, but you are the exception. Camilla, Camilla. Lu Xian is too fierce. We sisters have no power to fight. Zhu Jian Hui said, pay attention to your health. If you still have energy, come to my office. Horizontally pushing and taking special photos of the universe, embracing the harem, with the body of darkness, making a decisive decision for eternity. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Fusion of the Dark King, the Mediation Benevolence is Ruined You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Japanese-style wine house looks a bit messy. The air emits a faint aroma of wine and a milky body odor. Under the blanket, a fair and beautiful woman woke up in a secluded state. A pair of charming eyes, lost and dazed. Suddenly, the woman's expression became complicated. She suddenly turned her head. Looking at the young man next to him who had an amazing appearance and slept soundly. Seems to be recalling something. Do you regret it? I can't talk about it. After all, last night was my own choice. Do you believe in love? She doesn't seem to have this right. After all, her true identity is the captain of the victory team, Intermediary Hui. On the day she entered TPC, it was destined that she would dedicate herself to protecting human security and the cause of peace in the future. Including my precious youth. Also because of this, my fiancé A had a big argument with me. I just came to the bar to drink and relieve my worries. I didn't expect to unexpectedly get along well with this handsome eastern man, which led to a night of madness and indulgence. Looking back on last night. She not only had no anger at all. On the contrary, there was a hint of unspeakable joy in my heart. So much so that when she thought of the scene from last night, her cheeks couldn't help but feel hot. But at this moment. A message is coming from the phone. Regarding the incident of a falling meteorite from Mongolia accompanied by an underground monster, please return to the position of intermediary Hui to oversee the overall situation. Zhu Jian Hui quickly got up and reluctantly glanced at the man on the bed for the last time. Unfortunately, it would be great if I were an ordinary person. Although I don't know your name yet, I will never forget the pleasant time we spent last night together. But now, please forgive me for saying goodbye without saying goodbye, maybe we'll see each other again. Pop. The door carries away the last strand of fragrant breeze. After the intermediary benefits leave. Lu Xian slowly opened his eyes. My gaze fixed on the 100000 Koku left by Zhu Jian Hui. Then he sat up in bed and stretched lazily. Being in Dijia feels good. Critical strike system loading. Ding, congratulations to the host for completing the selection. Critical strike intermediary benefit, difficulty. 6 stars, reward. 100 gold coins, reward. Monster fusion permission. Can upgrade and merge with any monster in the world of Diga, oh. Any monster. Then I'll just choose to shut down the boss. How about Katanjal? This is a sentence from the joke system. But I didn't expect it. 
at the moment when the words had just finished. The surrounding dark energy is causing a riot. Suddenly, he seemed to have arrived at the bottom of the sea, with the black mountain as large as a canopy in front of him. Just when he thought this black mountain was the essence of Gatangel. The rough black mountain flipped, revealing a huge eyeball that stared fixedly at the tiny, ant-like Lu Xian. Cruelty, ruthlessness, destroying everything, the will that governs everything in an instant, it was like gazing into an abyss, causing the SAN value to plummet. Just as Lu Xian was sweating profusely. Suddenly, under the intervention of a mysterious force, all the oppressive feelings suddenly turned into begging for mercy and submission. However, it was already too late. The next moment. Gatanji disappeared in place. Transformed into countless black mist surging and gathering. Fusion concentration. What ultimately appeared in Lu Xian's hands was a ferocious black transformation stick similar to the divine light stick. However, when the shape-shifting device was opened, a pair of inexplicable evil crimson eyes unfolded. I haven't waited for Lu Xian to study it carefully yet. He returned to the tavern once again. At this moment, Lu Xian was panting heavily and his whole body was already soaked. I don't know if it's cold sweat or seawater. However, it's not important anymore. After merging with Katanjal. At this moment, he feels great. My waist no longer hurts, my legs no longer sore, and even my nearsightedness instantly turns into eagle eyes. The once Katanjal has disappeared. Now, only Lu Xian is sitting on the throne of darkness. Lu Xian smiled. It's not in vain that I've been working as a plumber and delivering takeout for this month, and my efforts have finally paid off. I've been thinking about him traveling for over a month now. For over a month, apart from understanding the world he has traveled through, he has also been researching systems. And when the system refreshes with the newcomer six-star task. Critical Strike TPC Victory Team Captain Intermediary Hui. Lu Xian understood that he had come to the world of Dijia. So. In order to have the power of self.protection. In order to see a different scenery in the world of Ultraman. He has been working hard to complete beginner tasks this month. After sweeping a bunch of low star missions. Finally, I have mastered the full level disguise technique. The first thing he did was to disguise himself as a mediator and sow discord. After all, I delivered takeout to Zhu Jian Hui's family for a month. The old tricks of intermediary Hui have long been figured out. He only needs a little operation. Successfully achieve the goal. Ding, task refresh, explosive TPC victory team member. Lena, difficulty. Six stars, reward. Eighty gold coins, reward. Limiter lifted. Your growth has no limit. After the limiter is lifted, your next second will always be stronger than the previous second. Interesting. It seems like it's time to go to TPC's Far East headquarters. In what capacity should we go? Just as a monster researcher. Well, I just don't know how Miss Ju Jian Hui would react when she sees me again. Ding, did you spend 50 gold coins to purchase an identity modification card? Purchase successful. Your current identity is as a PhD. Fellow in cell module research with dual degrees from Emperor Jing University. All your relevant information has been entered into the Sakura ZF data database. The ID modification card is sold out and will never be refreshed. The reason for the modification is as follows. It's because a day ago, the monster Gorzon followed a meteorite that fell from the sky and appeared in Mongolia. He saw such a job posting online. So here comes the question. Why not directly modify it to a member of the victory team? Because modifying cards can only modify objective information and cannot modify people's cognition. It's just like giving you a legal identity, eliminating the black households of travelers and becoming a native, that's all. There are many PhDs in university. But the victorious team is the elite among the elites, that's all. Next time. 
Lu Xian went to the nearest mall. Ding, 50 gold coins have been exchanged for 500 million yuan worth of verifiable coins, gold coin balance. Zero, store items sold out, update shelves in 30 days, I spent 3 million pounds to buy myself a handsome outfit. Then I took a taxi and headed towards the headquarters of the victory team. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 2. First Encounter of the Ancient World. You are listening at novelfull.audio. On the taxi. The driver is very talkative. Pull and ramble all the way. Even seeing that Lu Xian had a beautiful appearance and temperament, he took the initiative to act as a matchmaker. But soon both of them were attracted by a news item on the car radio, special report. A storm vortex has appeared in the Pacific Ocean, with an astonishing scale and a tsunami spreading globally. Experts speculate that global sea levels will continue to decline. Multiple local fishing boats have been killed, please continue to pay attention to related reports, Yaya, the driver let out a strange and helpless cry. Recently, there have been more and more disasters in the world. As ordinary people like us, we really have a day to live. By the way, passenger, did you just say you were a double doctor? It's useful, isn't it like an ordinary person like me, who would die at the feet of a monster by smacking at any time? Oh by the way, passenger, do you know about monsters? They are those tall and ferocious extraterrestrial creatures. Lu Xian smiled. In the world of Dijiao. TPC was originally a pure blue star peace alliance, an international organization responsible for guarding humanity from mysterious phenomena and natural disasters. And it has branches and research centers worldwide, as well as lunar bases and space stations. All reports about monsters are naturally without concealment from the public. So, the image information about the appearance of Gorzon in Mongolia has already been widely circulated among the people. Nowadays, comments about the end of 2006 Blue Star have been circulating on the internet. But all of this. Lu Xian just touched the shape-shifting tool in his arms without hesitation. After all, the storm in the Pacific should have been caused by him. After the former Dark Emperor conquered the world, he became bored and fell into a deep sleep. The ancient ruins where its body sleeps are located beneath the Pacific Ocean. The massive body suddenly disappeared, and it was normal for the Pacific to undergo a change. A major change is about to begin. The wind and rain are about to come, and black clouds are pressing down on the city. However, as Lu Xian watched the wind and clouds surging outside the window, he felt incredibly comfortable. No need for a long time. The steel pyramid built at sea. TPC Far East Headquarters has revealed its scale. The scorching sun rises, and seabirds fly far away. And that massive pyramid building, far larger and more oppressive than what appears on television. And soon, along the road, there is a team of fully armed security personnel solemnly welcoming and protecting important figures. For a moment, the driver uncle was stunned. I thought it was a mistake into some military stronghold especially seeing the surrounding electromagnetic gun barrels all aimed and locked onto the taxi. The driver almost lost control of the taxi and rushed off the cliff with one foot. Hello. Passenger, where are you located? Oh my god. Damn it. You're going to kill me. Until the team leader came to greet Lu Xian. Salute respectfully to Lu Xian in the car. The driver let out a creak and, in disbelief, wiped the sweat from his forehead. Only then did I realize that there was a big shot sitting in my car. Before getting off the car, Lu Xianlin suddenly thought of something and joked. Uncle, a double doctoral degree is still very useful. At least with just one sentence, I can make so many people welcome me and protect me. Say it. He easily left with a flick of his windbreaker. The driver was left alone in the wind, causing chaos. Soon. 
after a half-hour long journey through the ocean passage. Lu Xian passed through the underwater elevator, formally entering the internal headquarters of TPC Far East. When it's like Tokyo Electronics Building, but whether it's the circular corridor, or the high-dot-tech mechanical walls and ubiquitous AI robots. These all indicate. The real TPC is vastly different from the TPC in tokusatsu dramas. Actually, Lu Xian had anticipated this earlier. First of all, let's not mention anything else. In the tokusatsu drama, Ju Jian Hui is a wife who has a child at the age of 20.7 or 8. But in the real world, Ju Jian Hui is just a big sister in her early 20s. From temperament to appearance, it's like taking close dot up shots of several streets in seconds. So let's take a closer look at the leopard. TPC headquarters must have great potential. Perhaps it was the identity card that played a role. Revered as an academician with dual doctoral degrees in Sakura. Or perhaps it was a month ago that Lu Xian intercepted the opportunity for Daegu to rescue Director Zay of TPC. This allowed Satoshi Zay to transfer his liking for Daegu to Lu Xian. Therefore, the road was smooth and no one set up a checkpoint. Under the leadership of the staff. Lu Xian has a clear goal and is heading to the Guts Command Center at TPC. In tokusatsu dramas, it is often filmed in the Victory Team Command Room. Time has arrived in the afternoon. The members of the Victory Team gathered for the first time due to the appearance of monsters in Mongolia. At this point, the young man wearing a tight white combat uniform looked at the signs along the way, feeling a bit confused. This is Daegu's first time visiting the GTUS command room as a newcomer. Is this right here? I shouldn't be late, right? Oh no, will it leave a bad impression on Captain Ju Jian Hui? At this moment, the sound of hard soled leather shoes touching the floor came from the distant corridor. Step on, this moment caught the attention of Daegu. Looking up, a young man appeared at the corner of the corridor with a tall figure, handsome appearance, and a strong temperament. At a glance, Degu recognized that the visitor was wearing the latest Lao Huang brand wool trench coat and exquisite handmade calf leather shoes. Even the pants are handmade luxury brands. The ancient capital couldn't imagine how comfortable these clothes were to wear. The most inconspicuous golden glasses are all anima. Just when Degu wanted to come forward and chat. Having a blood of light with high purity, he immediately felt a chilling and terrifying threat when he met Lu Xian at first glance. This is a great terror when encountering natural enemies. As if in an instant, my whole body's blood was frozen and I couldn't breathe. Fortunately, with a slight smile from the youth, the sense of oppression disappeared without a trace as the ice and snow melted. Is it ancient? He he, I know you. Lu Xuanchuang smiled and said, Do you remember you were from the Ministry of Transportation before? Kid, you still need to practice driving skills, and average people can't do flat ground rollovers. Oh, it's Senior Lu Xian. Daegu awkwardly scratched his head, and his whole body became eager. Although there were only a few contacts, he could tell that Lu Xian's identity was either rich or noble. Since he appeared here, it should be an internal member of Guts. As a newcomer, it is absolutely not wrong to establish a good relationship in advance. Faced with the saddle of ancient times, Lu Xian always smiled gently. Soon, the two of them arrived at the Guts command room together. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 3. He can boil big bones into soup. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. At this point, there are many people in the Guts command room. Several senior researchers who came for the interview were gathered around a projection device about Yulian. Beside him, Horii was playing with a voice translation machine, but the machine suddenly malfunctioned. Troubleshooting and repairing will take some time, and Horii can't help but scratch his ears and cheeks. 
I am an expert in the field of cells. Although I have not encountered any monsters, as long as it is a carbon-based organism, you are right to come to me. My research team and I attach great importance to the time machines inside meteorites. What? Let me decipher ancient devices. Translate ancient languages. Are you joking? Look at these out of tune experts. Intermediary Hui appears to be a headache. Intuition told her that Yolian's projection device was very important, and there was something incredibly important hidden within it. But these experts are too unreliable and have seriously eroded her patience. Damn it! Don't these guys know that time is money, the director really called me back early in the morning because of this. Dr. Jinsuan is not ready yet. Just analyzing the geological age of the meteorite, why did it take so long suddenly, she slammed the electronic pen in her hand onto the table and said, get out. Everyone get out. If you can't help, don't stick around like a carrot here. I understand now that no expert is reliable. Under the tiger's power of mediation. These experts can only leave in frustration. At this moment. Captain Intermediary Hui, the last expert named Lu Xian has arrived. Do you want to meet him? Ah. What did you see? Didn't you see that I'm currently in a state of anxiety? Just pass me, expert. I think it's all a bunch of bricklayers, said Intermediary Hui impatiently, ah. Uh. Yi Rui pointed to the door and said, Captain, he has already arrived. In front of me, isn't that a good way to talk? Zhu Jian Hui sneered and said, why not? Looking back, second turn, hmm. Something's wrong. After seeing the appearance of the incoming person clearly. Zhu Jian Hui was unbelievable in an instant, her face blushed to the bottom of her ears. At this point. Professor Lu Xian, I'm sorry, our captain just said, please go out, said Yi Rui as he was about to drive someone out, wait. Mediate Hui tidied up her emotions and quickly pretended to be serious. Is Lu Xian. I think. He can. Moment Yerui. Zong Fang, who has always had a crush on the captain, instantly sounded the alarm in his heart. It has to be said. Lu Xian's sudden appearance. Let intermediary Hui be overjoyed. After all, let's not talk about anything else. Overnight understanding. Let Zhu Jian Hui clearly realize that a man has entered her heart. And now. This person appeared right in front of me. How could it not make her excited? And with the support of intermediary benefits. Lu Xian was instantly honored as a guest of honor. Standing next to the ancient projector. For this video recording. Lu Xian, who has already merged with Katanji, can easily master ancient languages. Naturally, one can hear clearly. Of course, even if he doesn't understand the plot, he can still memorize it by heart. Of course, there is no pressure. Just as he was thinking about how to drive the plot with his bad taste. At the entrance of the Guts command room, a young and lively girl with a petite and charming appearance rushed over. He is also wearing a tight fitting rubber jacket battle suit with contrasting white and red colors. However, the same standard of clothing perfectly showcased the graceful curves of the girl on her body. It can be said that it is a childlike giant R, with small branches bearing fruitful fruits making people drool. The person who came here is not Hualina from the victory team, but who is it? I'm sorry, I stayed up late last night to give a work report on discovering monsters and excavating extraterrestrial meteorites. I overslept. Of course, no one blames her. After all, being able to drive Fian Point 1 alone to bring back meteorites and shoot complete information videos of monsters up close, she is the number one hero. But as soon as Lena arrived, she saw Degu standing at the door. Her eyes lit up instantly. Hey, newcomers. Degu E saw Lena, who was overflowing with welcome to spring. For some reason, my face blushed instantly, and I couldn't even resist speaking, becoming gentle. This physiological reaction made even Degu, 
who had never been in love before, instantly realized that he had a different feeling towards the girl in front of him. Roughly, this is love at first sight. Hello, I'm Daegu. Daegu, this name is rare. You look quite shy, don't be afraid, we won't eat you. Joking at newcomers has always been Lena's passive skill. However, at this moment, Lena, with sharp eyes, suddenly saw Lu Xian standing not far behind Degu. Moment her attention was completely drawn to Lu Xian. After all, compared to the inexperienced youth, the handsome tough guy style is clearly more in line with her aesthetic. Moreover, in terms of appearance, Lu Xian is simply amazing. Soon, Lena, who was already familiar, greeted Lu Xian with a familiar greeting and chatted happily about the projector cut out from the meteorite. Looking at the two people chatting happily, De Gu inexplicably felt a wave of disappointment. After a comparison, he understood that he was out of the game. Compared to senior Lu Xian, he is far behind in any aspect. I silently let out a sigh in my heart. Daegu's attention returned to Lu Xian. This man seems to really have a magical power. In the originally restless command room, everyone immediately perked up their ears, obediently listening to the class like students. Even Dr. Jensuan, who had just arrived, obediently stood still after presenting a geological age report. At this moment, Lu Xian was chatting confidently. Humanity has only a history of several million years, but according to the geological age detection information of this thing, at least 30 million years ago. 30 million years ago, it belonged to the Neogene Tertiary Oligocene. 60 million years ago, dinosaurs became extinct and mammals flourished, marking the beginning of the Cenozoic Era. In our original chronology, the Cenozoic Era is divided into the Tertiary and Quaternary periods, and with new understanding, the current Cenozoic Era is divided into the Paleogene, Neogene, and Quaternary periods. The Oligocene is the last stage of the Paleogene, starting 34 million years ago and ending 23 million years ago. After saying so much, I just want to say that 30 million years ago, a super-ancient civilization was born with advanced and advanced technology. And this time machine is their legacy technology. I have done a period of ancient cultural compilation and have a general understanding of some ancient languages. This projector is a disaster prophecy about our era, which roughly states that every once in a while, the blue star will initiate a mass extinction of species, such as the dinosaur era, and the destruction of ancient civilizations. Next, our blue star will also face the extinction of life in our era, with the initial signs being the appearance of Gorzon, who tore apart the earth, and Melba, who shattered the sky. The only way to deal with the crisis is Facing a group of curious babies. Lu Xian spoke together with the Yolian projected from the holographic projection. Let the giant of light revive. Only when the giant is resurrected can the blue star be saved. Giants exist in pyramids. And the method of awakening giants. Lu Xian looked at Daegu with a wicked taste and said, It's just. Boiling Daegu into soup. Daegu. Although I don't understand, I always feel like there is something inside. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 4 Daegu, I know you're in a hurry. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Facing this. Everyone looked puzzled. But it's okay. It wasn't originally intended for these people to listen to. Perhaps in a day or two, when Daegu obtains the divine light stick, he will be able to understand what he is saying now. When the time comes, he wants to see what Daegu's expression is. But at this moment, Lu Xian was surprised to discover. The system sends a warning message. Attention. The world of Tokusatsu is about to undergo a great fusion. Attention. The world of Tokusatsu is about to undergo a great fusion. Attention. 
The world of tokusatsu is about to undergo a great fusion. This actually plunged Lu Xian into deep thought. That is to say, one day in the future, will the Oort universe merge? Um it's both a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is that there are more opportunities, and one can witness immortality through infinite system evolution. Bad thing, I am a fusion player at the beginning. Although currently invincible in the Diga universe, once fused, there is no guarantee of encountering miracle, fusion, legend, or idealism. Be sure, you will be marked as a major villain and beaten to death by various idealistic heroes. Even if Ultraman is eliminated, there are also various universe-level monsters vying for territory. Such as Angel Zog, Hipparjitan, Ampere Star Emperor, Gliza, and so on. To be strong enough to be as you please. All possibilities ultimately fall on the system. It seems that growth is imminent. However, in order to cope with various uncertain factors in the future, forming a force seems to be a good choice. After all, a good tiger is difficult to defeat a pack of wolves. The winning team in front of us happens to be ready. Just make some adjustments yourself. It may not be a useful chess piece in one's own hands. Just when Lu Xian was daydreaming, the victorious team members around have already been arguing fiercely. Some of them believe Lu Xian's words, while others do not. Some directly initiate questioning. New city. Boil big bones into soup. What the hell? Zone Fong. Impossible, right? Is your translation reliable? Meteorite is likely a prank, what monster goals in? How do we know if you fabricated it based on existing information? You are not much different from those experts, are you? Hello. Hori. Professor, it's not that I question you. What you're saying is that there was once an ancient civilization far beyond us humans, and they even left a warning about future disasters. How could it be? Anyway, I don't believe it very much. Unless the prophecy is true, the so dot called Monster Melba will appear. However, the words had just finished. TPC sounds disaster warning. Yerue immediately mobilized global satellites to locate the image information of Melba, which caused the sky to collapse, just mentioned by Lu Xiangang. The location where this monster appears is the Resurrection Island, which is exactly the same as the prophecy mentioned by Lu Xian. Yi Ruilian hurriedly said, Yes, it's true. The prophecy is true. Moment the victorious team remained silent. There will be no further objections. For a while, Lina looked at Lu Xian's gaze as if looking at a god. By the way, Senior Lu Xian, you are simply unbelievable. Lina starry eyes, you are both handsome and talented. You are simply a fairy descending to the mortal world. Is it a suggestion to boil big bones into soup? Zhu Jian Hui coughed twice and asked in due time, pyramids. Are they the pyramids of ancient Egypt? Lu Xian shook his head. Human beings have only a million years of history to this day, so pyramids are not the same thing. Yi Rui, why not check the intersection of the two known monsters' movements and see what you have gained? But. Hori scratched his head, since it's a pyramid of giants, why haven't satellite maps ever been discovered? Of course, I'm not questioning, I'm just, adhering to academic curiosity. He <laughs> he. Lu Xian shook his head without answering. Perhaps it's because ancient technology has surpassed us too much, and it's normal for satellites to detect it, replied Zhu Jian Hui and soon, Yerue detected through satellite that these two monsters were converging towards a certain location. Yi Rui was instantly anxious and said, yes. If, as Lu Xian said, giants are the key to salvation, then these two monsters must have gone to the sleeping land of giants. They want to destroy giants, and the place where their actions intersect is the pyramid. The monster's target is Sakura East Island. Once this statement is made, making strategic decisions in an instant through intermediary benefits. Victory team, 
set off to investigate and protect the giant in the land of Sakura East Island. The intermediary order was issued. The victorious team began to operate in an orderly manner. Xincheng, Hori, Lina, Zongfang. Even newcomer Daegu has been assigned tasks. Watching the victory team busy for the first time due to the monster, Lu Xian felt that this moment was quite worth checking in. However, what matters now is that he also plans to visit the pyramid. Captain Intermediary Hui, as for me, I think I am very interested in monsters and I would like to apply to go together. Mediate Hui remained silent for a moment and chose to refuse. The refusal language may be very official. But Lu Xian could clearly hear concerns and concerns about his personal safety. Although this has been very useful to Lu Xian. But this also clearly affects Lu Xian's next actions. Fortunately, at this moment, Director Zijing arrived and said, Professor Lu Xian, I approve this action. Thank you. Lu Xian waved his hand. Set off with the victorious team. As soon as Lu Xian left, Zhu Jian Hui began to argue with Director Zijing. But in the end, Intermediary Hui was defeated in the battle. Before Director Zhe left, he only left one sentence. Lu Xian is my life.saving benefactor, and I will remember this kindness for a lifetime. But for the sake of peace, we can all sacrifice ourselves. If he is willing to return this time, I will arrange for him to become a special TPC special researcher and grant him corresponding authority, and he will never be mistreated. The final ride that Lu Xian took was Fian No. 1, driven by Xincheng and assisted by Daegu. Looking at the two people sandwiched before and after. Lu Xian's heart suddenly sounded an alarm. I never expected that this small flying swallow one could hide both the dead pilots, Wulong Feng Chu, at the same time. And at this moment, De Gu, the chosen son of heaven, began to exert force and push the plot forward. Senior Lu Xian, I have a strong premonition in my heart that what you said is true. Lu Xian. Hmm, then there are still fake ones. So, what does the method of reviving giants, boiling big bones into soup, really mean? Lu Xian. Guess I know or not. De Gu. Dot. Lu Xian said, I know you're in a hurry, but don't worry for now, because everyone is in a hurry. De Gu. Dot. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 5. The Great Past Becomes Light. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Time flies, time flies. Fian number 1 and number 2 have successively landed. Everyone arrived at the coordinate location. At this point, the deputy team leader Zongfang conducts tactical maneuvers from time to time in the driver's cabin. And budget the arrival time of Gorzin and Melba. Lina, Xincheng, Hori, and Daegu will investigate separately. Lu Xian also brought a sample collection box and set off. There are still two and a half hours until the safety operation, stay in touch at all times. Inside the walkie-talkie, several people's responses came through. It has to be said. This place is really a wilderness, shrouded in mist. Of course, Lu Xian chose to act with Lina. As the saying goes, when paired with men, work is not tiring. Of course, what matters is that Lu Xian can eat Lina's tofu anytime and anywhere. Let's flip over the rocky slope, he can take on the name of holding hands, holding hands. The kung fu of crossing the river, he knew that Lina had a good water personality, so he used the excuse of being afraid of water to ask Lina to support his arm. Come and go, the two support each other. Unconsciously, some small sparks were also generated from friction. When stepping on this special land. I don't know why. Daegu felt his blood boiling all over his body. I feel like I've been drugged, unable to suppress the inexplicable excitement in my heart. He didn't know how excited he was, but
but he knew that he must stop the giant from being destroyed by the monster and find a way for the giant to recover. But what is the method? Boil big bones into soup. I don't understand. Just when Daegu was at a loss. Suddenly. A hazy voice rang in my ear. Just as he thought it was a hallucination, the voice became increasingly clear. And soon, it transformed from a murmur to a language he could understand. It's like calling out his name. Guide him to a certain place. At this point. A pyramid emitting golden light suddenly appeared on the originally transparent horizon. The ancient times bring instant blessings to the soul. Rushing towards the pyramid. At this moment, under the bridge. Lu Xian, Lina, Xincheng, converge with Hori, who fell from a mountain slope. Several people witnessed this scene firsthand. Hori instantly shouted, Dagu. Xincheng and Lina are also worried and shouting the name of Daegu. However, Dagu seemed to be possessed, running wildly without stopping at all. At this moment, it was less than ten minutes before Gorzon and Melba appeared, and it was already the final time for headquarters to order a retreat. A few people had no choice but to catch up. Soon. Everyone arrived at the outskirts of the pyramid. Learn from the ancient world and enter in sequence. But it's Lu Xian's turn. This wall instantly solidified into substance, blocking Lu Xian's entry. Ah, don't you welcome me. Lu Xian felt helpless. Apply a slight force to the palm. In an instant. The sound of glass shattering came from the space. Next up. The hard walls of this pyramid seem to shatter like glass, but fortunately they do not cause much harm to humans. Lu Xuanrua walked into it without any problems. Although the victory team is rare about the broken pyramid, they never associate it with Lu Xian. After all, they were looking up at the giant stone statue, which was 50 or 60 meters high, and it was a shock. Lina shouted repeatedly, Daegu. Quickly retreat. The monster is coming. At this moment, Daegu seemed to wake up from a dream. Like a dumbfounded youth, he questioned, retreat. What about the giant? What is the way to revive the giant? Seeing several people shaking their heads repeatedly. The goo thought that giants would be destroyed into corpses. He shouted out in an instant, covering his head in pain and running out. The four members of the victorious team quickly prepared for a retreat operation. Soon. The earth tears and the sky shatters. Gorzon and Melba, these two super ancient monsters, made their appearances one after another by sensing the magnetic field of their natural enemies. At close range, the monster with a height of over 60 meters suddenly felt a sense of oppression. At this point. Perhaps these two monsters are also puzzled. Where is the pyramid covered outside? But it's actually a good thing. It's such a beautiful thing to think of stepping on Digga and punching ancient giants. In the future, when it comes to boasting about monsters of the same clan, a casual one will be the topic. Gorzon has already been overjoyed. However, when he saw Melba coming to snatch people's heads, Gorzon dared not leave a trace and quickly launched a harvest. Without the power of light, now these three ancient giants are not as good as the flesh on the same chopping board. In three strokes, Gorzon shattered a giant. Melba refused to be outdone and wanted to grab a human head with his sharp beak. Gorzon looked at the old six grabbing the head and quickly flicked his tail to destroy the giant. Finally, aiming at the statue of Dijia in the middle is a backward fall. However, it underestimated the thickness of Digga. The stone statue just fell to the ground, shaking the earth and mountains, but it never broke. This made Gorzon feel a little depressed. But these two monsters don't know. With a fall, Dijia turned the flying tree trunk into a sharp arrow and flew towards the victorious team member, Lina, who was in a hurry to board the plane. Lina. Be careful. Be careful of your head. Get down quickly. At a critical moment. Lu Xuanfei stood up and hugged Lina, rolling into the weeds beside him. 
Lina only managed to save a small life now. She lay in Lu Xian's arms staring blankly at the sky. Death brushes past one's face. Lina was really scared. So much so that, in the first place, they have no intention of paying attention to their own situation. For the convenience of movement, tight-fitting clothing is made of special materials. But at this moment, it feels like a thorn in the throat. Lena couldn't help but blush. She wants to say something. But as she spoke, the cultured tutor told her that she should first say, thank you. That, to the life.saving benefactor, it's okay, it's okay, said Lu Xian Lina. What are the words of a tiger or wolf? Hey. He has just turned 18. Ding, complete task. Critical hit Lina, reward. Limiter lifted killing Lu Xian, Lu Xian couldn't believe that he had completed the critical attack on Lina in this way. I can only say that this girl is truly pure-hearted. However, it feels great. The feeling of even breathing and boosting combat power. Are you comfortable? Can't you get up yet? Lu Xian. Oh. One wave has not yet subsided, and another wave has risen again. Above the sky. At this moment, Daegu piloted the reconnaissance aircraft Fian.2 and launched an attack on the monster. However, this is the most concerning aspect. Due to peace regulations, the use of strategic weapons of mass destruction is prohibited around the world, and even all weapons that can be dismantled on TPCs and fighter jets are forcibly dismantled. As a small aircraft, Fian.1 only uses smoke bombs as its attack method and passing it by like this is equivalent to sending a person's head. But as the giant was about to die tragically, Gorzan's feet were on the verge of death. De Gu ignored it and launched a smoke bomb at Gorzan. Zongfang was very clear about the performance of Fian No. 2 aircraft and quickly ordered Daegu through the communicator. Daegu is useless, come back quickly. However, the big Gu on top is very tall. Whatever you say, you have to restrain the monster. Unexpectedly, this was directly hit by Melba's light. Fian.1 was damaged and could not even complete a parachute jump. Everyone watched with grief as Fian.1 fell to the ground and exploded. However, there was no time to mourn the deceased pilot, Daiko. A ray of light enveloped the giant. What appeared before everyone was the giant of light, revived from its stone form. Dee Jia, make an appearance. P.S. Dear Ancestors. Shamelessly asking for some fresh flowers. Well, the first 10 minutes, follow dot up updates must be awesome. Starting from 10,000 on the guaranteed minimum day. Please support me, please. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 6. Power Conversion and Strength Rampage. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ding, task refresh, bombardly strike the two beasts of Gorzon and Melba, difficulty. Samsung, reward. 20 gold coins, reward talent. Power transformation, LV1. Inherit 1,000th of Gatangel's physical strength through the transformation of human body form. Next. Presented in front of everyone. It is a regular middle school style fighting taught by Diga. Under the siege of the two beasts, Dijia became more and more brave in battle, and his combat skills became more and more proficient. Cowardly Golzen checked to see if the situation was wrong. Make a decisive decision to sell your teammates and dig the ground to escape. Melba was left to be beaten alone. As Dijia switched to aerial form and unleashed the Lampard Flare, it was almost a second before the pitiful Melba. Melba screamed in protest. Let's come together for a while, there's no shortage of heads and no shortage of hits. At this moment. Thanks to Diga attracting all the attention. Lu Xian has arrived at a deserted corner. Two hits and one counterattack, will you play? Lu Xian took out his transformation tool from his pocket. 
looking at Dijiao. Well, you can't let your kid steal the experience. Ding, you have a new task, strike Diga Ultraman. The Great Ancient, Difficulty. Seven Stars, Reward. Two Hundred Gold Coins, Reward. Light and Dark Transformation Organ. Can freely switch and absorb the power of light and darkness, serving as both the ruler of light and the emperor of darkness. Combining light and darkness, ascending to the level of chaos master. Do you have any unexpected gains? But it's also true, after all, in the world of Digga, Digga is the protagonist. Say it. Lu Xian began his first transformation. As the transformation tool unfolded, the eyes of the evil god overlapped with those of Lu Xian, and a black mist immediately enveloped Lu Xian. Slightly. Like the whispers of ancient gods in all directions. It makes people feel mentally deranged and at a loss. In an instant. In the whispers and grotesque smiles of the ancient gods. Darkness envelopes Sakura East Island. Evil god Gatanjal, come. In the field of black mist formation, it directly bounced back the super ancient monster Golzan who had escaped from digging the ground. Daegu is currently fighting with great enthusiasm. Suddenly, an old evil god that covered the sky and sun descended upon the earth. In an instant. My mind seems to be contaminated by something, and my headache is splitting. At this moment, the world is shrouded in darkness. The power of light that I had just acquired was weakened unprecedentedly, and upon encountering it, the timer would crazily flash and sound an alarm. Degu Ote shocking. What is this parva? Lina, Xincheng, Hori, and Zongfang all shook inexplicably. However, the next second. The action of Jia Tanjia without waiting for Lu Xian to transform. Diga collapsed on the spot, took off its form, and disappeared in place. And the super ancient monster Melba, relying on the fear of natural enemies in his genes, had already been scared out of his wits. Hardened on the spot. I was scared to death directly. Such a scene. I can't handle Lu Xian anymore. Originally, I wanted to take this opportunity to learn about the power of Gatanjal. And take the opportunity to train the Gu. The result is one face, one death and one disability. Oh, by the way. There is also a four-legged Golzan. Since that's the case. Lu Xian's heart twitched as his tentacles, like sharp arrows, tore open a sonic boom and shot towards Gorzan. Just a moment. It's like cutting butter with a hot knife. On the spot, string Golzan from top to bottom. With a shake, Golzan exploded completely. Is this the power of the evil god Gatanjal after lifting the limiter? This pava is so terrifying. It seems that there are some things that can be done freely, those who block me will die. Lu Xian shook his head. Unleashed monster form. Critical hits Gorzan and Melba, complete. Reward talent. Power conversion LV1, critical strike Digga. Progress of 5%, at the moment when Gatanjal turned into darkness and dissipated. Lina, Xincheng, Hori, and Zongfang were all shocked, with each eye widening wider than the other. Zong Fong. I thought the giant of light was already invincible, but I didn't expect this monster to be a thousand times stronger than the giant, no, ten thousand times stronger. Hori said, but it seems that he is helping us. I hope it's an enemy rather than a friend, otherwise humanity will suffer a catastrophic disaster. New Town. It's so terrible. He looks like the god Kesalugu. Just now, Something seems to have penetrated my brain. The fear is so real. If you are against him, there is no chance for human beings to win. Lena. I also have the same feeling, but at the critical moment, the malice suddenly disappeared. It seems like he deliberately didn't want to harm me. He really seems to be standing on our side as humans. Ha! Huh. At this moment, Lena was the first to react. Lu Xian. Where did Senior Lu Xian go? Hori looked at the foot of the mountain. 
Suddenly excited, he said, look, it's Lu Xian, he's holding Daegu. Zong Fang was also surprised and delighted when he saw it. Great, Daegu is still alive. Soon. Fian Tu takes off. The corpse of Melba, which has turned into a mountain of flesh. Fly towards TPC Far East Headquarters. On the way. An explanation for the immortality of a plane crash. Degu said, the emergency evacuation malfunctioned, but at the critical moment, I still ejected. Zong Fang turned around and hammered Degu's chest, saying, you're lucky and lucky, kid. Perhaps it was by eliminating the monster and reviving the giant. The mood of the winning team has become relaxed. It's also about fighting and laughing. But in it. Degu felt lost in thought. Because in his mind, the voice of Yolian became increasingly clear. There is only one way to revive giants. It's like the ancient times turning into light. The name of this giant is Diga Ultraman. Degu murmured. Degu turns into light. Degu boils into soup. Senior Lu Xian is really a mouthful gourd. So the answer is like this. He touched his chest, which was bulging and seemed to have something extra. Daegu quickly took it out. It is truly a divine light stick. The setting sun falls. The divine light stick emits a golden radiance. Although he expressed doubts about the sudden appearance of the Dark King, and even thought of Gatangel, he was so scared that goosebumps rolled all over his body. Ordinary humans have no lineage of light, just like frogs at the bottom of a well looking up at the moon. They instinctively feel terrifying and terrifying towards that monster. But only those who have awakened the bloodline of light. Only then can one feel the despair of that tiny flea seeing the sky. But it cannot be denied that, in terms of action, that terrifying monster is currently on the side of humanity, helping them eliminate Gorzon and Melba. I just couldn't bear the pressure and collapsed first. After understanding this point. Although Daegu's expression remained solemn. But after obtaining legendary props, the young man not only felt lost, but also felt a sudden sense of responsibility in his heart. Digia, Ultraman. He repeated his pitiful words, I am not only the chosen one by the light, but also the one who saves the world. Degu's expression gradually became firm. However, at this moment, Lu Xian's voice came from behind, Daegu, what are you sneaking around for? The Guduan was so scared that his hands and feet were unstable. I almost missed the divine light stick and said, Senior. You scared me. Daegu, you're too scared. We can see all the toys you're holding in your hand. Amidst Lena's laughter and joy. Fian.2 disappeared under the sunset. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 7 Famous Scenes Teaching Antique Digga You are listening at NovelFull.audio Akita City Tiantai A man in a windbreaker looked at the situation broadcasted on the screen of the opposite building. My eyebrows furrowed and I said, Why? Why has the future I see changed? Cedic Group The young and promising CEO of the group, Masaki Jingwu, is overlooking the people coming and going downstairs. The expression is sometimes lonely and sometimes angry. Why? I have already made so much effort, and I am so excellent. Why is it not me who was selected by the light? In a dark church somewhere. A beautiful young woman with long legs had a cold gaze as she looked at the battle scenes of Diga Ultraman with disdainful sneers. Blue Star Guardian. Do you also deserve it? We, Kiri aloud, are the ones. Just, that unspeakable darkness. What is that? Forget it, the door to heaven is about to open, and God is about to descend. Don't worry about cats and dogs. The scene of the battle in the land of Dijiao. TPC, with an attitude of not concealing anything, 
has released the images captured by Fian.1 and satellites to the world. The battle between monsters and Digia was good from the beginning. Unfortunately, as the mist of darkness emerged, everything became blurry, but faintly, one could still see a colossal figure that covered the sky and sun. In an instant. There has been a heated discussion among humans about monsters and digas, whether they are good or bad, just or evil. There are also those with ulterior motives who take the opportunity to spread terrifying rumors. Public opinion took advantage of this opportunity to ferment. However, this does not seem to affect Lu Xian's rhythm. TPC Headquarters Lu Xian officially joined TPC as a specially appointed monster researcher. I am currently the director of the Monster Analysis Research Institute. Director Zijing attached great importance to him and generously formed a research team for him. The deputy assigned to him is also a beautiful researcher, Dr. Kenra Lingzi. This is the RD leader of Rider Machinery in the future, and a special talent who can take charge of improving Guts' weapons on his own. So, I have something to do as a secretary. This job is simply a casual job for me. You just need to provide monster intelligence based on the plot. It doesn't even require a lot of effort. Don't be idle on this day. Guts Command Room After a simple onboarding ceremony for Lu Xian. Take advantage of everyone's arrival. The team members sat in rows surrounded by balloons, cakes, and flowers. Yerue tapped the keyboard. On the big screen, footage of the battles between Diga, Gorzon, and Melba is played. However, in the first act, Melba emitted a light that stuttered Diga. This made Degu touch his nose. I thought to myself, are you polite? Specially editing scenes of me feeling deflated. However, Yi Rue said, I am trying to analyze Diga's behavior reasonably. Of course. Insert it lightly here. The name Dijia was told to everyone in advance by Lu Xian. Of course, including the name of the evil god Jia Tanjia, Lu Xian also mentioned it together. Asking is through analyzing ancient languages. In case someone's mind gets hot in the future and creates any farce of giant mountain superpower. In fact, calling Dijia a giant mountain superpower is not enough. But the big snail and big sea snail made Lu Xian a bit nervous. Yi Rui said, the giant's activity time on the blue star should be very limited. I can reasonably speculate that it is only about three minutes. Degu politely asked, why do you say that? Yi Rui brought up the scene of Dijia being oppressed by evil gods and looking down at the lamp. This should be some kind of timing signal. After flashing, it means that the activity time has arrived. Unfortunately, it was interfered by Gatangel, and I cannot determine the specific situation. However, this situation also means that Jia Tanjia's strength far exceeds that of Di Jiao, and even relying solely on his momentum can force Di Jiao to exit, which is really terrible. Lu Xian knocked on the table and said, Say something useful. Oh. Yi Rui called up the models of the three forms of Dijia. Next, we enter the scene of the teaching name of the wild Rui teaching antique Dijia. The initial colors were red and purple, which belonged to the corresponding form. This form has a balanced power and speed. In the red form, the strength and resistance to attacks have significantly increased, but the speed has significantly decreased. The blue form is opposite, with extremely fast speed, suitable for aerial combat, but similarly, both strength and resistance have decreased. Daegu listened while feeling lost in thought. Suddenly, Lu Xian raised his index finger and said, Ah. I understand. Diga can adjust his combat style based on the enemy's characteristics, but in most cases, monsters move slowly. So. The red form is the universal solution. Excited Daegu nodded repeatedly. No wonder you're a senior. You're just thinking of going with me. Lu Xian said, you kid, as soon as you pout your butt, I know what kind of shit you're pulling. Otherwise, how did the ancient happy form come about? Speaking of which. 
The god-level mage has been born and completed as a berserker, and there is no one left. Next time. A few people analyzed and summarized this action. But no matter what. It is undeniable that the evil god Gatangel will always be a huge stone weighing down on everyone's hearts. The prophecy says that the giant of light, Digia, is the key to saving the world. So what about Gatangel? What does his appearance mean? Even so, Lena repeatedly emphasized that Gatangel had no intention of harming them, but this terror existed as if from birth it was original sin itself. Human beings always fear the unknown. With the help of Yolien, they can also be considered to have a deep understanding of Dijia. But Katanjil, they know very little, even almost nothing. His existence is far above fear, and the overwhelming sense of oppression that comes from visual data alone is overwhelming. From a strength perspective, Dijia is only about 50.60 meters tall, while Katanji is at least over 200 meters tall. Like a baby compared to a strong man. Diga fought hard against two monsters for half a day, under the command of Gatangel, one was scared to death and the other was instantly killed. This achievement, the more compared it is, the more desperate it becomes. Finally, let's summarize with intermediary Hui. We cannot guarantee the good or evil of Gatangel. Lena team member, it cannot be denied that he has indeed released a certain amount of goodwill to us. But I think the most reasonable solution is that we must implement targeted plans for Gatangel. But. Xinqing raised his hand, we don't have weapons of mass destruction, how can we target them? The words have just finished. Director Zay appeared with the South Plains staff of the Dove faction. At the beginning, it was proposed to upgrade the TPC's armed forces in all aspects. This is quite a delightful experience for intermediary Hui. After all, the first action has already shown. Having no sword in hand is not the same thing as not having a sword. If you really have to face monsters, it's better for the guy in hand to speak effectively. Of course. Watching the victorious team feeling down due to Gatangel. Ju Jian Hui is to boost morale. First, I turned off the image of Gatangel. Then he clenched his fist and said, So what about Gatangel? As long as he dares to offend, one day we will ride on him and swear who is the master. It has to be said. The intermediary Hui deserves to be a descendant of Yolian, a pure bloodline descendant of the light. Even if not yet awakened. It also seems to have an innate, inspiring, attribute. A slightly mediocre sentence unexpectedly appeared domineering and directly inspired the seven members of the victorious team. Among them, Yakaina appeared extremely excited and didn't know how excited she was. Only Lu Xian had a strange expression on his face. He sat in the corner with his legs crossed. Take a look up and down at Captain Jie Hui, who has a graceful figure. It has to be said that sometimes intelligence is also a kind of temptation, especially under a mature appearance, there is a heroic spirit of women that is not inferior to men, which is truly heart-stopping. Unconsciously, the corner of Lu Xian's mouth slowly curved that night. Lu Xian does not return to the base room. Feeling dark, I arrived at the private area of Zhu Jian Hui. As it is a private drive. There is a habit in the middle of the room that Hui never closes the bedroom door while sleeping pop. A loud slap hit Lu Xian's face. On the narrow office chair. Dressed in silk robes, Zhu Jianhui and Lu Xianjing embraced each other in a very ambiguous, zero, posture. Just after taking a shower, the fragrance of jasmine wafts in the air. She lowered her head and dodged her gaze. Completely no longer the usual ace captain's appearance. In a moment and a half. A plea for mercy sounded in the corridor. Master. I was wrong. Captain Jie Jian Hui seems to be sick. Really? How do you know? It's almost ten o'clock and she hasn't woken up yet. She's a workaholic and never does this before. Qing Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. 
April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 8. Stones and Greed. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Gakuma has appeared. A dark underground cave. Three miners are desperately fleeing. Accompanied by the earth shaking and mountains shaking. A burst of white light flashed by. All three absenteeism cases are fixed. A few seconds later. Where else are there miners in place? There are only three neatly arranged stone statues. In the distance, something flashed past, revealing a pair of angry beast eyes. The next two days. Lu Xian's days became increasingly leisurely. At the end of the day, besides pretending to study the transported goals and cells, and dissecting the complete Melba corpse. The rest is eating, soaking girls, and enjoying life. Don't be fooled by the fact that it's only a short two days. Intermediary benefits are at their busiest times. I took a whole day of sick leave directly. This worries the deputy team of Zongfang. All day long, without thinking about tea or food, holding up coffee and doing the work of two people inside the room. The intermediary benefits sweat profusely on the back. Forcefully suppress the pain in one's heart. Respond to the emergency video call from Director Zay with the best mental state. Urgent contact. Monsters appear on Julianglyang Island in the southwestern islands. The miners at the quarry have been attacked and there can be no more victims. Captain Intermediary Hui, aren't you feeling any better yet? Did you have a high fever? Ah, forget it. Since that's the case, rest assured and I'll personally lead the team to Julianglyang Island to check the situation. Say it. Director Zay greeted him. Video communication has been turned off. The intermediary benefits are like a relieved burden. Like a spring compressed to its extreme, it begins to rebound. Fortunately, the sound insulation effect of the base is done well. After the wind and clouds cleared, Lu Xian wore a silk nightgown. Sitting in front of the huge sea view window, I poured myself two clear Hennessy cognac glasses. The amber colored wine reflects the blue ocean scenery to the fullest. Fill with two ice cubes. Shake. Crystal clear. Like a dream. Come and taste my carefully selected wine. Zhu Jian Hui sits across from her. Raise the wine glass and collide. The 43 degree baijiu runs along the middle of the chin and across the delicate clavicle. Cough, cough. Zhu Jian Hui frowned and immediately calmed down, this wine is quite good. Although I don't understand wine, I can still taste something extraordinary. Lu Xian smiled slightly, feeling slightly tipsy, and said happily. If you like, could you get a wine cabinet for your room another day? I'll put three to five bottles for you. When you're under a lot of pressure, it's good to occasionally get a little tipsy. No, no need. Zhu Jian Hui looked at the wine in the glass with some concern. This bottle is quite expensive, over a million pounds per bottle. It has nothing to do with her heartache. In fact, the victory team looks glamorous, but in reality, the salary level is not high. Even for intermediary benefits, by the end of a month, it may be less than 200,000 koku, which translates to just over 10,000 yuan in dragon coins. This bottle is lower than her five-month salary. Anla, one million is just a drop in the bucket for me, Lu Xian said gently as his words changed. Besides, you're usually too busy with work, so you should take some time out to enjoy some life. This brandy has a rich and elegant taste, with a sweet and refreshing taste. It has a fruity aroma of grapes and a woody aroma after aging on the palate. Although it is a strong liquor, it is still very suitable for you. In the future, focus more on yourself, otherwise I will feel heartbroken. Where has Zhu Jian Hui heard such love talk before? In an instant, I became even more drunk. The sun curved through the air. The sun rises three poles. The tide rises and falls. When the sunset falls on the coastline. 
This represents the end of a new day. At this time as usual. Zhu Jian Hui is busy with work. And now inexplicably, a hint of guilt appeared in her heart. However, it is indeed very exciting. After a moment and a half, she still sat at her desk and searched for information about Julian Island in the Southwest Islands. After consulting multiple sources, intermediary Hui thinks it's not simple. Lu Xian has just finished bathing and cleaning. Looking at intermediary Hui, her eyebrows furrowed tightly. He smiled and said, Did something happen on Zhou Island? I have a clear understanding of some folk stories about this. Zhu Jian Hui lifted the snow. White swan's neck and looked up in anticipation, Let's talk and listen. Well, it's like this. There are indeed two monsters called Gakuma on Zhou Island. But in fact, these are two gentle monsters. Making a living by swallowing minerals, eating and sleeping when full, eating when awake, and living a simple life. However, due to humans' reckless exploitation of nature, it has seriously disrupted the ecological balance of nature and squeezed Kakuma's living space. Speaking of which, it's also a retribution. If humans don't treat Blue Star well, Blue Star will always have a way to retaliate against humans. Some greedy humans, due to their interests, dug up a large amount of ore and stole it along with the food stored by Gakuma, which caused Gakuma's anger. For example, when you are sleeping at your home, thieves come to your bedroom without restraint, and in front of you, they steal valuable things from your home time and time again. If you were you, wouldn't you be angry? So, I just find the tragedy of Julian Island ridiculous. Because the name, Kakuma, was not given by me, but by the local miners. You see, they know there are monsters on the island, but they still act recklessly. Despite knowing the consequences of overexploitation, one still has to take risks. Because of one or two people's greed, the consequences of nature must be borne by all humanity. These people deserve the most. After hearing this, Zhu Jian Hui fell silent. She didn't think Lu Xian was radical. On the contrary, I feel that what Lu Xian said is right. However, as the captain of the victory team, she must consider everything comprehensively. She can think of some things, but she cannot do them on her own. You should know that even in this peaceful era, in the small land of cherry blossoms, women are still men's appendages. They do daily laundry and cooking, teach their husbands and children and do not step outside the door. Their social status is evident. Not long after the establishment of the victory team, as a daughter, she sat in this coveted position. Some people are staring at her, waiting for her to make a mistake and pull her off her seat. This is also the reason why she works hard. Regarding one's own situation. Zhu Jian Hui expressed helplessness. Just try to protect these two poor monsters as much as possible within the scope of power. Soon. She wrote it down on the paper, the plan for taming warm monsters, on the possibility of monsters benefiting people's livelihoods, Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 9. Hori will fight monsters alone. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The time arrived on the second day. Satellite monitoring image display. Between the mountains. A bright yellow unicorn broke through the soil. The earth is shaking and the mountains are shaking. A monster crawled out. Flipping the soil over and over again, emitting an angry roar. Under the leadership of Director A. TPC has drafted a combat plan. Arrange an equivalent amount of explosives in a specific location between the mountains and forests in advance. And stimulate Kakuma with specific sound waves. Once the monster appears, detonate the explosives and shatter it into pieces. As the monster enters the circle, Director Zay promptly issued a battle order. Okay, it's now, blow it up. Boom boom. A series of explosions echoed around Kakuma. 
stones splatter, rocks crack, and soil jumps three feet high. However, there is smoke but no harm. When the pungent smoke dissipates, the kuma is intact and undamaged, and becoming increasingly angry. Director Zay was greatly surprised. Watching the kuma spit out blue light, as long as the vehicle being illuminated is an excavator. All were petrified and turned into useless stones. At this point, Gakuma is still pure. It foolishly thought, stealing its food and disturbing its rest are these despicable excavators. Injustice has its head, death has its owner. It's going to have a life and death battle with these excavators today. But Director Zay doesn't think so. He saw the monster playing so wildly. The scene cannot be controlled. Quickly took out the satellite communication armband. Call TPC Victory Team. Request support. Request support. Within the Victory Team. Because Melba's body was fully dissected. Dr. Kenra Lingzi proposed upgrading the Texas gun carried on Fian 2. This project has greatly delayed the outbound plan of Fian Point 2. There's no way. Lena applied to drive Fian Point 1, which has already been equipped with a laser cannon, and set off with Xincheng Daegu. In the vast research and development room. When Lu Xian arrived. Just listening to Hori and Kenra Reiko boasting, Oh my goodness, doctor, I have contributed to the renovation of the Texas cannon this time. I can't wait to pilot Fian 2 and declare war on the monster. Linzi Jensuan finishes the data in hand. With a slight smile, the shallow dimples were intoxicating and he said, Are you trying to take on the monster alone? That's right, I just want to fight against the monster alone. Hori clenched his fist firmly, I want the monster to know who the boss is. Lu Xian walked over and said, A one dot on point one battle against the monster. That's a good idea. Director. Director. Hori and Ken Lingzi spoke in unison. Although the RD Department and Monster Intelligence Department are two separate departments. Here, Lingzi Jinsuan is the boss. But she still likes to refer to the man in front of her as the director. Jinsuan Lingzi said happily, thanks to the director's perfect dissection of Melba's body, I obtained complete data on the thermal radiation emission structure. The upgrade of Fian Point 2 was so successful. Lu Xian waved his hand and said, it's a small matter. So, how should the upgraded Texas gun be named? Hori asked. Lu Xian smiled slightly and said, just call it Aminos. Does it have any special meaning? Hori asked. Invert. Hori scratched his head and said, Ah. It's nothing. In the future, when launching a ray cannon, you can shout, Aminos, don't you think it's very imposing? Hori tried and said, It's really true, but director, my mouth doesn't stink either. Why did you ask me to turn around? On the other side. Lina, Xincheng, and Daegu are riding on the newly renovated Fian No. 1. Soaring freely in the blue sky. The upgraded Fian Point 1 gave the three of them ample confidence due to its outstanding performance. However, handsome in just three seconds, just arrived at the Gakuma area. I haven't had time to show my strength yet. Lina plunged her head into the stone thrown by Gakuma as she exited the pit. Crash on the spot. Three drivers carrying parachutes. You look at me in the air, I look at you. Lena was extremely embarrassed and said, I don't usually do this. It's really cult. I'm a ace pilot, it's the first time I've crashed into a rock. Xinqing sighed and said with a sigh, okay, we just left the factory and we'll have to go back to the furnace and remake again. Degu. Dot. Lena. Dot. However, at this point. The sound of Fian Point 1 falling caught the attention of Gakuma. At first glance, there was another excavator still alive. No, damn thief. Eat me a petrified light. It is directly a blue petrified light brewing. However, 
this suffered the three people floating in the air. From this perspective, they inevitably fall on the petrified light, and the outcome can be imagined. Fortunately, Daegu's parachute hung on the steep mountain wall and was covered by a thicket of trees. As the light was about to burst out, Lina and Xincheng in the air have become living targets. At critical moments, light descending, shine. However, what is faster than light is a red lightning beam flying in, blowing the blue light back alive. And the momentum is like a broken bamboo. The Gakuma sparks were splattering everywhere, causing dizziness and dizziness. Rescue the scene. It is the Flying Swallow 2, which is equipped with an Amino's gun. At this moment, Dijia stood between Fi and Tu and Gakuma. He was somewhat stunned. Originally, he transformed and saved the scene. Result you make me look foolish like this. Dijia looked at Fi and Tu. Crazy roast inside. Hori exclaimed excitedly, Aminos, Aminos, that's great. Di Jia. What? De Gu, who must have awakened his superpower perception, vaguely felt that this guy didn't fart well. However, since we have transformed, now is not the time to waste energy. Di Jia looked at the corner position of Kakuma. Excited, he ran over. In the cab of Fian number two. Hori continued to be excited, Director, we can't rely on Diga Ultraman for everything. Let's use the Amino's light to send monsters to hell. However, looking back. Strange, where has the Director gone? Zongfang was debugging the equipment but didn't look up and said, I'm going to the restroom. That team, can you assist me in launching? Let the monsters taste the power of our human intelligence. Okay, Aminos, launch. The special barrel of Phi and Point 2 began to accumulate energy. When the energy of the surrounding ions is mobilized, soon a super strong beam of radiation is ejected. At this point, Director Zay is full of expectations. TPC only took two days to develop and carry such a powerful weapon. What if it takes one or two years? He smiled slightly full of ambition. The intermediary Hui, who was watching the battle at the base, suddenly tightened her expression. In her opinion, these two monsters are completely innocent. It is entirely due to human greed that has been plagued by an unwarranted disaster. If this monster is truly a gentle and kind species, why can't we find a common way to survive from it? Is there still a shortage of Blue Star co-residents who are persecuted by humans for the sake of development and fishing for the benefit of the environment? However, time is still short, and her proposal has not been uploaded to the headquarters for discussion. I can only helplessly close my eyes. However, at critical moments, black mist emerged. The Amino's light is like sinking into a swamp. In just a moment, he was completely eroded by the dark energy. The TPC base's first level warning light issued a crazy warning. Zhu Jianhui patted the table and suddenly tightened her expression. Katanjal. Here we go. Sure enough. When black mist emerges. A familiar sense of oppression comes from all directions. Above the sky. Covering the sky and blocking the sun. It is an ancient evil god. Evil god Gatanjal, come. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 10. What is brighter than light is. You are listening at novelfull.audio. At this point. Diga switches to the red ancient happy form. It's a pleasure playing with Gakuma's unicorn. Watching the corners being torn apart. The unicorn Gakuma let out a mournful cry. Suddenly. The earth shakes. He kept adding Kuma to the scene. Dijia was suddenly startled. Not good, this is two to one. Monsters do not speak of martial arts. But take a closer look. Dijiala is happy. Hey. Guess what? 
surprisingly, there are two horns. It's okay then. Just as Dijia was full of vigor and determination. Suddenly. The sky is dim and the earth is dark. Day changes to night. No, it's not at night but it was covered by the black mist emitted by evil, blocking the sky and the sun. Evil god, Gatangel has descended again. Sure enough. Between heaven and earth. The familiar and oppressive double-horned conch appeared, covered in black holes and potholes. Inside each cavity, there is a suffocating dark energy emanating. Ding, you have a new task, blast plus kuma asterisk two, difficulty. One star, reward. One gold coin, reward. Two diamonds the size of a pigeon egg, hee hee. Lu Xian casually erased this task. Seeing Gatangel appear. Dijia was greatly surprised. The last time, when Gatangel met, Diga disintegrated on the spot. After a period of growth. Plus, it's in the form of red power. Dijia barely stood still this time. He decisively gave up on the two monsters of Gakuma and made a vigilant and defensive stance towards Gatanji. Because after the appearance of these two monsters, they squatted in place like little milk dogs, with larger opponents in front of him, and he didn't have time to deal with these two monsters. In fact, the pressure is already full. However. This scene fell into Horii's eyes. He was surprised and said, Diga, he's going to challenge Gatanjal. His voice was transmitted through the walkie-talkie. Pass it on to each winning team member's earphones. At this moment, everyone held their breath and looked up at the scene. What is the actual situation of this battle? Can Diga, as an ancient warrior of light, succeed? However, the next second. Gatanji's slender tail was pulled out, directly propelling Diga away. Dija caught off guard and said, uh, still in the air, just disintegrate and disappear. Critical strike Diga. Progress of 10% after clearing Dijia from the field. Looking at Kakuma trembling and crawling underneath. Lu Xian shook his head. Although it integrates Gatanjil, it is only a fusion. Gatanji's will has long disappeared and has been fully replaced by Lu Xian. So, there is no absolute darkness in him, to the point of destroying all emotions and instincts. Naturally, one will not go against their inner will just to make a small profit. However some people must die. In the skill library provided by Gatanji, Lu Xian quickly learned and mastered the curse of the origin of evil gods, as well as reducing the light. Lu Xian's evil god's eyes looked somewhere. As if breaking through space. Inside a temporary tent. The Mediterranean, dressed in suits and leather shoes, is giving orders, commanding the secret to frantically call the phone, requesting a safe evacuation. However, at this moment, a ray of light fell from the sky. Cover it. Next, the Mediterranean swelled and mutated on the spot, transforming into a three-meter-sized meatball. Amidst the screams of terror from the secret, it exploded directly. Not just him. Through some kind of mysterious connection, the curse entangles all 20.7 or 8 innocent high-dot-level officials. With a thought from Lu Xian's heart, he followed the footsteps of the Mediterranean. Through perception, these individuals were still greedily enjoying the pleasure brought by money, power, and women before their death. Even a few of them died together, on women, as if they were called, Lowly Island. The ore on Juliangliang Island is truly top.notch, thanks to those two monsters. Huh, stupid monsters, thanks to them, my gambling industry can be described as thriving. Monsters that can produce natural jade are really born coin-making machines. Hey, have you heard? More and more miners have died on construction sites recently. What are you in a hurry? After all, dying a worker only costs us a sum of money. In my opinion, these lowly people are no different from Gakuma, they are just tools for us to make money. The benefits brought by Gakuma go far beyond that. We must increase our efforts. No matter how angry that monster is, it can still come to the island to kill us. 
Humph. That's right, TPC is still here, they won't let it go. But I invest a small goal every year to support them, ha ha ha. The money is getting more and more, and I have to recruit more and more workers to go to Jiuyang Island. It's really a good business. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. What's wrong with my body? I, it's so painful, I'm about to explode. It hurts me so much. How could it be like this? Who will save me? I have a lot of money. Lu Xian finished all of this. He once again emitted light and aimed it at the two beasts of Gakuma. As the dark purple light envelopes, a magical thing has happened. Under the influence of light, Gakuma continues to shrink. In the end, they turned into two cute little beasts that looked like fur balls. Turning back, he bent down and glanced at Hori, who threatened to take on the monster alone. Feel the gaze of evil gods. Hori awkwardly tilted his head and whistled. Single choice. What one dot on point one competition? Don't look at me. It's not me. I didn't say anything. Lu Xian lifted the dark form. Carrying the black mist, it dissipated together. Gatanjal disappeared. The reactions of all parties are different. Zhu Jian Hui breathed a gentle sigh of relief. Hori, Zongfang, and Xincheng were amazed by the power of Gatanji, still staring at the sky in astonishment. As for Lina, her attention was completely drawn to the two furry little beasts. Wow, how cute! Just as it was about to move forward, Director Zay rushed over with his pants in his pocket and said, Don't move. Be careful of the danger. However, Lena had already stepped forward, picked up the two little beasts, and started masturbating. The shrunken Kakuma looked silly and furry, emitting a cute cry of, Jayakuma. In no time, a beast seemed to choke. When Lena was in a hurry, it spat out a crystal clear jade from its mouth and nodded repeatedly at Lina, indicating to accept it. Upon seeing this scene, Zongfang, who arrived, exclaimed incredulously. They seem to like you very much, Lina. Hori, who was panting on the side, couldn't understand the charm. What I care about is how it reconstructs the molecular structure of stones, which is worth studying. What I mean is, can you leave them for me to study for two days? Fuck you, Hori. Lena was dissatisfied. One, one is good. Please, not even one can do it. See the victorious team fighting and making noise. Director Zay breathed a sigh of helplessness. At this moment, someone has already taken photos and presented the Mediterranean corpses that were cursed to death, fragmented and deformed. He looked at Lu Xian walking slowly and said, Lu Xian, you're here. You're a monster expert. What do you think about Gatanji's behavior this time? He handed the photo to Lu Xian. Lu Xian shook his head. A word, the ringer. Some people need to be vigilant, otherwise, this bell may be a funeral bell. Some people dare to dig up mountains today, dare to discharge nuclear wastewater into the sea tomorrow, and dare to destroy all humanity the day after tomorrow. Director Zay has now accepted the proposal from intermediary Hui. A detailed summary of the situation on Jiuyang Island, including the identity of the corpse owner, has been provided in the attachment. Therefore, I also understand what is going on. As a true pacifist, Lu Xian's words plunged him into contemplation. After a moment, he stroked his palm and said, I understand. The so dot called sin and punishment, I believe, are not wrong in this matter. On the contrary, he seems to be correcting our human mistakes. From this perspective, he seems more like the guardian god of the blue star. At this moment, Daegu stumbled from a distance. Communicate through the built that IN earphones in the helmet. He already understood what was going on. At the same time, I also felt self-blame for my actions. Come up on your own. He is indiscriminate and devoted to eliminating monsters. Little did they know that in the dark, 
they had also become a bad person. On the contrary, Gitanjal gave himself a slap, although it hurt, it also made him sober. Think of it here. Gitanjal became quite different in his mind. A gentleman speaks of his deeds without regard for his heart. Although it reveals darkness everywhere. But it seems brighter than light. In contrast, he is just a reckless man who expands upon gaining strength. Looking at the two cute creatures playing friendly with Lena. Daegu blamed himself. I'm so damn. P.S. On the first day at 10 o'clock, it is presented. Almost every chapter exceeds 2,000 words or even more. I am really bursting my liver. So, week or week, please calculate the data. Every guaranteed minimum day is 10,000. Good data makes my TM even more explosive. Yenzu, as you know, data is so important to us young authors. You are brighter than the light. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 